This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are <laughs> watching this video. Thank you for watching, I do appreciate it. My name is Luke. How are you doing? It's a, do you know what? It's a lovely day today, lovely day. Today is Thursday and uh, I was going to start filming later because we were supposed to go to our old yard, be right, get loaded with timber and go up to Wrexham and I was going to film that, go up to Wrexham, do the delivery, get reloaded, come back down to Froome is what we were supposed to do. I was going to film it all and, um, and show you the ride basically but it's, there's been a change of plan, there's been a change of plan. We are... Uh, we gotta go back to the yard from where we are now. I'll tell you where we are in a sec. And we gotta swap trailers. We're going to the Chelsea Flower Show tomorrow. It's a place I've been to a few times. Um, so tomorrow we're doing that instead. Now, we are currently at a nursery. I think it's called, hang on, what's it called? Actually, I need to give the bloke the paperwork. Alit Nurseries is in St. Albans. Um, and we're in the brand new goods in area, actually. It's quite nice. Uh, I've got to reverse back out there to get back out, but it's quite a nice area. Let me show you the load that we've got quickly. Just give you the paperwork quickly, mate. Right, so that's what's been taken off so far, these pallets. Uh, here's the truck. Got it cleaned the other day, so it's actually quite shiny at the moment. Well, it was, but there's flies on the front of it again. <laughs> but it's looking relatively tidy. Relatively tidy. But uh, yeah, these bags are coming off. These pallets, rather. Once these are off, not many to go now. We'll reverse out of here and then uh, go over there. I'm gonna crack on to the yard where I will swap trailers and then show you the load that we're delivering tomorrow. Presumably it's all bags, bowl bags, and I presume it's all netted. I think, hang on. He said his trailer. I don't know what trailer he's got. It could be a curtain cider. Could be flatbed or, I don't know. It could be flatbed or curtain cider, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's going to charge the flash show tomorrow. And we've got to be there for 7.30, which means quite an early start tomorrow, but yeah, never mind. It's not the end of the world. As I get older, I find myself more and more interested in garden centres and quite like going to them, <laughs> not gonna lie. Obviously with the uh, the house on the horizon that we are purchasing, I uh, would like to make it look nice. So I do quite like looking around garden centres. It's all fenced off though, this area we're in, so I can't go and look anywhere. But yeah, yes, by the way, I do need a haircut. I had a shave, so I look kind of baby-faced. Uh, but yeah, I do also need to have a haircut. I quite like the length, but I just get the get the sides trimmed I think on the weekend we'll see we'll um get this off and then we'll crack on to uh to the yard and swap the trailers um Devon truck show we went to Devon truck show over the weekend just gone <sighs> took a while to get in <laughs> um I think we must have met up around about seven o'clock eight o'clock in the evening then we were parked up on the 30 until like midnight pretty much we got asked to move by highways agency they wanted to clear the way so there wasn't any uh, accidents. And then by the time me and Scott went into the camping section to set our tents up, it was about quarter to one in the morning. <laughs> we were literally setting our tents up in the pitch black. But um, apart from that, apart from getting in, everything else f f was fantastic. It was it was a great show, great atmosphere, and I got a little bit tipsy. <laughs> so if anyone did come, <laughs> if anyone did come and see me, and uh, I was a bit bit drunk, I do apologise. It's uh, one of the only times I get to let my hair down, <laughs> so I do. I do like to have a bit of a drink when, when I go when I go to these shows. Oh, we've got a phone call coming in now from Kieran. <laughs> right, catch you in a bit. Bye. So, uh, um, okay, maybe I'm not going to charge the flash. Eh? It might have changed again. Not sure. I think that's three times now. <laughs> um, we will. We will head back to Swindon and <laughs> give him a call when we come off the motorway and. Um, Ask him, we're going back to the yard. If we're going back to the yard, it's a trailer swap loaded already for Chelsea, Chelsea Flower Show. Or it could be, and also that would be means going home today as well. Or it could be that we go straight past the yard down to B right, load up for Wrexham, and I want to head up to Wrexham because I don't really want to have a very early start because it's a good three hours up there. So I'd rather get up up there, um, park up about eight, nine o'clock, and then um, start in the morning. But we'll see. As of right now, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow or even late on today. 
Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, right, you join me uh, just about to enter the Spine Road in South Cerny. We're going to our old yard to get loaded with timber. We are doing the Wrexham run and uh, yeah, gonna make our way up there tonight, I think. Um, but <laughs> we have, we, we, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> so, there is, as of right now, a one hour delay. Someone spotted me. There's a one hour delay. That or there's a speed van down here. <laughs> one hour delay in front of us. I think he just put his phone up as well. I think there's a speed car van down here. There is a one hour delay ahead of us. Um, we are running out of time, both working time and driving time. I don't think we are going to get all the way up there today not going to happen I don't think so I was thinking maybe I'll just leave early hours tomorrow morning don't really want to wake up early but that might be the only option but working out of my head I don't think that I'm going to have enough drive time I need to make my way up by a couple of hours at least tonight to have enough drive time tomorrow to do what I need to do because it's like three hours up good three hours four hours back down actually so we're on seven hours then plus then we've got to get back up to Tetbury which could be a couple of hours so we could be on eight hours nine hours easy um, and obviously that doesn't take into consideration any traffic or anything like that so yeah I think we need to make our way up there tonight but I don't think we're going to have enough time to get very far can't make that so yeah unfortunately we just uh We'll see what the flow is in a moment. I promise you, I am not looking through the see-through leggings that she's wearing. Definitely not looking at the see-through leggings. I'm quite happy to sit behind cyclists. You know what, cyclists, they were all right, didn't they, really, when you think about it. I ain't got nothing wrong against cyclists. They're all, they're all good. I'm turning right in a moment. There's no point overtaking. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> There's no point overtaking because we're about to turn right. There's nothing wrong with sitting behind cyclists. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, sat now saying there's one hour. No, 54 minutes. There's a 54 minute delay. <laughs> Enjoy your bike ride. I hope you uh, do your personal bests and all that. We is turning right. And she is turning left. We can make that. Who's this? It's is a very nice looking truck. Where's County? Hello, mate. Um, so yeah, we're going to go get loaded with the uh, with the old timber. Hopefully, traffic's died down. So it is ten to five right now. So I don't, I don't think it's going to die down. I think it's going to be getting worse. To be honest with you. We do, we've got two hours drive time left before we need to stop for a break as well. Um, by which time we will be on nine hours driving anyway. So, yeah, we may need to stop for a break and then carry on for another hour. But from leaving here, we've only got a couple of hours anyway before we need to stop. So we'll just see how far we get in those couple of hours. It's going to be a case of just sort of playing it by ear and uh, seeing how we get on. It's going to be the case of doing that. All right, let's turn right into this yard. Our old yard. Oh, there's someone here being loaded. Not what I wanted to see. And they're not even really fully loaded either. Right, so we've just got to wait now for this truck to be loaded as well, and then and then we can be loaded. So we uh, we sit tight. Probably get a 15 minute break in actually, because we need a 45 minute break later. So if we can get 15 in now. That'll be good. We get our IVs on ready as well. Right, see you in a bit. Right, we are in the process of being loaded, slowly being loaded, slowly stepping up, and then we can crack on. 
apologies to the guy who was waiting outside, wanted to come and say hello to me. Obviously he didn't come in and uh, well, yeah. I'm in a bit of a rush today uh, and I got a strap up as well. So uh, never got a chance to come over and say hello, but hope you're well, whatever your name was. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Let's throw a strap over this one. Grab our strap and eat it over. Yeah. Okay, fully loaded, fully strapped. Let me show you the load. Here we go. That is the load we are taking up to Wrexham today. We're not going to get as far as Wrexham. Uh, I'm hoping we get at least Telford. We will see. But let's just uh, get the whole thing in. There we go. Right, let's jump in the truck and see what the sat nav says. Right. Hello. You can see me. We're uh, just going to put the destination into the sat nav again. Uh, see if it can calculate a route. I don't think we'll be going up the M5. I think we might take the A roads diagonally across and then, um, yeah, this bit up here diagonally. There we go. It's less miles. Gets me there at the same time. But I just want to miss the motorway. Plus, there might be lay boys to stop on the way. So, I think that is probably the route we're going to take. Um, yeah. And then I may decide to nip up the A442 to Telford, depending on time, or carry on, we'll see. I don't know, I'll, I'll reassess when I get to Worcester. Yeah, once we get to around where Worcester is, I'll reassess. Um, we might actually get there, you know, we might get all the way up. We might make it there on, like, on literally 10 hours. The only, the only way we're going to know is by cracking on. <laughs> Let's get on with it, basically, see how far we get. See the only hope we've got. Let's get on out of here. Yeah, sorry, whoever that guy was waiting here, he wanted to get a selfie with me, he said to the forklift driver. Yeah, sorry, mate, I'm just way too busy today. Um, unfortunately, this is my job. <laughs> um, and this comes first, so... The vlogging, the whole vlogging thing, making videos, it all comes second. Uh, I get on with the job, I got a strap up, I got a sometimes net, you know, uh, strap up, net it all up and just crack on and get on with the day. I can't be stopping all the time, so do apologise, maybe next time uh, you see me. Uh, but I have replied to you on Facebook because I did see your comment, uh, but I can't remember your name. I want to say Chris, might be wrong, don't quote me on that. <laughs> right, I'm going to crack on, I shall see you in a few hours time. See you in a bit. Right. We messed up. <laughs> it's getting dark. It is uh, nearly 10 past nine. I am out of driving time, man. I am over my driving time. I'm on 10 hours and five minutes. I am out of driving time. I got held up <laughs> by a lorry driver of, of all things. And uh, he was going incredibly slow and his single carriageway the last sort of 10 miles, I just couldn't overtake him. It's an Owens truck as well, so if you knew if you knew it was me and you were deliberately going slow on purpose, thanks for that. <laughs> anyway, I'm parking here. I need to turn around and face around and go come the other way. I might, I might do it here, be quicker. I'll turn around here, be quicker. Oh, it's a bit sharp. Should be right. Let's test my reversing skills. Um, yes, yeah, so I have gone over my driving time. Not a lot I can do about that now. That's that's done. I need to do a printout to say I've gone over. Just trying to reverse round as quickly as possible. Lovely. There's a cyclist coming. Scooter rider, I should say. Oh, you okay? You're going left. Okay. Okay, I'm going to park here. Uh, oh, farmer, 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 farmer. These gates are open. We don't want to be blocking these gates too much. So we shall go back a little bit, but we don't want to block the junction too much. <laughs> go back a little bit. There we go, farmer can get in coming from the other way. You can go past up around the roundabout if need be. No, there's not a roundabout, but you can spin around and need be. You can get in there. You can get in there. There's uh, nothing to say I can't park here. No yellow lines. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll just park up here for the night. I think we'll be all right. 
can't see the farmer working too late. There's no one in the field I can see, so I think we'll be okay. Fingers crossed. So yeah, we need to go do some ended day checks, make sure everything's all right. I'm gonna go because like, it's too dark light, you can barely see me. That's how dark it is. Um, you have, you've probably noticed by the way, the bed's a mess. It's because I've, I took the mattress from the top to take it to Devon to sleep in the tent. So I need to put that mattress back on the bunk, but I need to take everything off the bunk first to put the mattress on, then put everything back up, then lift the bed back up and then make my bed. So in the morning, when I start filming, that'll all be tidy over there. That'd be a, a made bed, <laughs> but it's not made right now. But um, yeah, never mind. Right, I'm going to go do some daily checks, end of daily checks. We went seven minutes over in the end, so we do need to do a printout as well and just write down that we needed to find a safe place to park. It's a bit naughty going over, but um, yeah, so what? It, it's happened, isn't it? As long as you don't do it all the time, DVSA won't mind too much. I might get a slap on the wrist. I might even get a fine, who knows? But I did try parking up on time. There was no available place to park for the last sort of... Yeah, pretty much 10 miles. There was nowhere safe to park. So, oh, you should have parked up before. Yeah, I should have. Didn't think I was going to get stuck up behind that lorry, but I did. Can't predict the future. Next time I shall try harder. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to go uh, do some daily checks, end of daily checks, do this. And I'll see you in the morning. Okay, morning everyone. It is the next day. We are here, just unstrapped. Gonna jump in the truck now. We've just been given the green light to go on in. So let's go on in. Yeah, we had a uh, we had a good night's sleep. Needed the sleep, that's for sure. And truth be told, I didn't want to wake up this morning. <laughs> but we are here. It is raining as well, so we're a little bit wet. We just started raining whilst we were unloading. Well, unstrapping, I should say. Um, but never mind. So we've got to get this tipped off here, or this timber, and then we should be reloading at the same place with pallets to go to Froome today. I don't know where in Froome it is going just yet. Okay, I believe we're nearly tipped now. Um, we are this side anyway, as you can see. He's just taking some more off on the other side, and then uh, we get loaded with pallets. Still don't know where and through we're going. I feel like I've done it before. I feel like I've come here, been loaded for Froome and delivered to Froome, but I can't remember where and through I went. And it's bugging me. <laughs> uh, I have asked for paperwork, but they haven't given it to me yet, so. We will probably get loaded, strap up, and then see where we're going. That is what I suspect will happen. I don't even know how long it's gonna to take to get there. I've got no idea. Okay, pallets are now going on, I believe. There we go. They will be put on on the left hand side. There we go, so we'll jump out in a second, we'll start strapping up. But yes, they will be the pallets. They don't look too high as well, so that's cool. Of course, when I say they don't look too high, what I mean is um, you can gauge roughly how high you are. Um, like if it's, if I can go to the side of the truck and look at it and it's visually lower than the cab, I know easily that I can get under a 4.2 bridge. If it's higher than the cab, then I have to measure it. And I do that by using that stick there. That is a measuring stick. Um, obviously I'm on flatbed most of the, uh, flatbed work most of the time. My height varies, so I use that stick almost every day just to, uh, to measure how high I actually am. Yeah, so I'm currently outside the truck now, look. You can see, actually it does look pretty tall. It's visually taller than the cab, so I will be measuring the height just to confirm how tall it is. There's loads of bridges down the room area. So I definitely want to be making sure I get the height correct. That is going to be that high all the way across there. So uh, yeah, I will be measuring. So we are still being loaded, uh, but we appear to be getting timber put on the back now, which is less height than the pallets. So we're going to measure the height now of the pallets while we're waiting to be loaded still. It saves one thing to do later, doesn't it? So grab our height stick. <sighs> We shall assemble it here. Let's get our height stick out. How high do we go? I reckon no higher than 4.4. That's what I think. But we shall find out. I work in meters, not feet. <laughs> this does both though, so I can. Uh, 
work out the feet first and then translate into meters. And I always do it so I can swivel it around and not get hit by anything. Okay, we're about there. 15, less than 15 feet one. Oh, yeah, we're like five, four point five nine. So we will say we are four point six. Four point six meters tall. So at least now we know how tall we are. Uh, we can put that into the sat nav, which will then obviously calculate a route, avoiding bridges less than four point six. Because uh, around Froome area, there are definitely quite a few. So four point six meters. Okay, so now I can go back in the cab. Lovely. Right, let's continue strapping up. Okay, we've got like bags going on now. Apparently there's wedges in there, but it's nice and secure. That strap is very tight. Ain't going anywhere that. Uh, single stack of timber there, double stack of timber. I was slightly concerned because I thought he was gonna do double stacks of timber for the rest of the way. And I had to stop him. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Can't be having light pallets on the front and then heavy timber on the back. I said, is it all going to the same place? He goes, yeah. I was like, wow. You know, it's not going to be heavy timber all the way on the back, is it? He said, no, no, no. I was like, good. Because basically, there's loads of videos online. If there's a lot of heavy weight on the back of the trailer, you snake. I'd rather the heavy stuff was on the front. Or even in the middle, and then pallets either side. That'd be ideal. But uh, I think we'll get away with that. That's not too bad. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's 4.6. <laughs> so. Got to mind them bridges. I think he's going to put another bag here, by the looks of it. Mind you, he's moved that bag over. I don't know what's happening now. Right, we're loaded. Really dirty. Um, cool, right, we've got to do some stuff. We've got to put paperwork away from the delivery we just made. We've been here a while. We've been here nearly two hours. We got here before seven, just before. And it's just before nine, really, pretty much. Yeah, we've been here pretty much two hours. Thought it would have been a bit quicker than that, but you know, never mind. Back up there. High vis off. I'm gonna need to get fuel on the way down. That can go there. Right, we need to put in the sat nav where we're going. I've got no idea how long it's gonna take to get there. I guess I would say it's gotta be nearly four hours. Yeah, also, yeah, we're going to Marshall CPM in Froome. And I have been here before. So I was right. I got, because I said earlier, I've been loaded from here and I've delivered down to Froome. Now I remember where. It's a massive place. And I remember getting there and no one really telling me where, where to go. Um, I went to, well, someone told me where to go. And then no one came over to me. So I was like, well, who wants it? And then, yeah, I unstrapped. And no, nobody still wanted it. It took a while to to find someone who actually uh, wanted to come and unload me. Um, yeah, so we go that way, motorway. It is saying it's going to take, yeah, four hours and 22 minutes. We've done eight minutes already. So that's literally four and a half. <laughs> so we might need, yeah. I think we're gonna have to stop for a break on the way down. That is a long drive down. You're gonna stop. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're probably, we're not probably gonna get there to like half past one. I was supposed to go to Tetbury and load up yet as well. That's gonna be pushing it. That's going to be pushing it, Kieran. Kieran is planning. 
never mind. Let's go past this bloke, hopefully we can get past okay. I don't know how long he's been waiting, but like I said, I've been here for two hours, and when I I was the first one in, so yeah. <laughs> and uh, apparently they they start unloading from uh, six o'clock in the morning, so you could say, oh, why don't you get here at six? That's a very valid point. Why couldn't I get here to six? Probably because I didn't park up until quarter past nine, and uh, I didn't realise <laughs> that my card wasn't on rest until quarter to ten. <laughs> Um, so I couldn't start until quarter to seven this morning. So that was why. Uh, I think well, half an hour is probably a bit overkill. It's probably more like 20 minutes. I was parked up for 20 minutes, then realised that I have it on break. So yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Lovely. Right, we can get a move on. Get down as far as we can, have a break. And I need to stop for fuel as well, I think, at some point. So by the time we do fuel and break, it's, it's going to be close to two o'clock before we get there. Could be there till three. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I shall see you in a bit. Okay, hey everyone. Um, we have now been driving for about three and a half hours. We've just stopped at the services. We're just going to jump out and check the load quickly. Right. Yeah, we've been driving, driving now for about three and a half hours. Uh, so we've only got an hour left of driving time before we need to stop for a break anyway, and we're an hour and a half away from where we need to be still. So we're we're short on time. Um, I don't think there's many places to stop um, if we carry on. We've got to come off the M5, jump onto the M4, then onto the M32, go around Bristol. They're sort of like all country A roads, um, quite windy ones as well. I think if there's any, if there are any laybys, they'd be really thin. I think so. Uh, just take this opportunity to stop now in the services. Plenty of space. Um, like I said, we're about an hour and a half away from the delivery, um, and I'm assuming from there, probably be going back to the yard. Probably, I would have thought. I don't know. We'll see. So I'll have enough time to get back to the yard, or it could be Tetbury. I don't think I'm going to get to Tetbury before four o'clock. Um, once, we once we've had our half an hour break here where we are in Michael Wood Services, we are looking to get to our delivery point for five past two. Now I have delivered there before, as I said earlier, but I do recall them taking their time. So I can't imagine I'm going to be out before three o'clock. So, but we'll just see, we'll just see. That's all we can do. But yeah, load is still on. It's all done up tight still. <laughs> Nearly tripped over that. <laughs> um, I come in here not too long ago. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was the last time I was heading to this place I'm going to now. I parked over there on the left-hand side somewhere and I reversed too far back and that mud guard got caught and ripped, it off, ripped itself off. I ended up having to strap it to the bed, driving back to the yard so we could get it fixed and then I delivered it in the morning. I think that was why uh, I remember coming to this place where we're delivering to and I think that I'm pretty sure that was the exact same time so yeah you got to be careful of them they can rip your mud guards off but yeah we're all good I don't know if I showed you the front I have um, crisscrossed the straps on the front just for a bit of uh, added protection really so you'll see there that it's all crisscrossed on the front so yeah happy days I've just come over here to have a sit down a beach sitting in your truck Definitely. As long as I don't get run over by <laughs> lorries coming in. But yeah, much better than uh, sitting in your truck, that's for sure. That is a bit snug, but we're round. We are round. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think this is the way you're supposed to go in. <laughs> Never mind. We're about to go to Crossroads. We're going straight over. Last time I come from the right hand side. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> right, the, uh, the trouble that we're going to have now is trying to find someone uh, and the correct place on where we need to be. Well, it's not technically Crossroads, but 
because um, last time I come here, no one really wanted to to help. Looks like I've got to put shorts on as well. Uh. I've got lots of PPE. Put these on, they go straight over my shorts. Keep them happy, innit? There we go, and we've got a oh, hard hat on as well. Lovely, right? Let's go find out where they want us. Okay, we have an idea on where to go, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same place we went to last time. So we've got to go to stores. Please use other door. Man, that's dusty. Those windows are going up. I'm just waiting for this forklift to see if he's going to call me over or what. Need to put him in, so. Nice. Just park up over there. Yep. Let's tie out the size there in the middle of your room. Find out where you've got to go, then follow me, and then I'll take you away. Sweet, right. So leave it strapped up for now, then, yeah? Just leave it all strapped up for yep. now. Probably not, not going to be tipped there, you're going to be tipped somewhere else. Cool, alright mate, no worries. So yeah, uh, we'll just wait for someone to come and tell us where to go basically and then I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> right, we are in and we are being unloaded. I've only taken some of the straps off, they won't let me take them all off. Because they've got to be tipped somewhere else. Yeah, so all the straps are off for them. But uh, I've had to leave the straps on for these ones. They won't let me take it off. Never mind. Uh, they're also loading it, or taking it off rather. Uh, only 10 high at a time, so it means it takes twice as long <laughs> to get tipped. You can see uh, the trees we've been hitting. <laughs> we've, got, we've got loads of uh, stuff in the trailer, so we'll give that a sweep before we go as well. Give it the big stuff by hand if we can. But yeah, that'll all come off by the end of the road anyway, I think, all the leaves. Just to make sure all the twigs are off. <laughs> okay, situation report. We were told to go to the green shed. We did. We had to wait another five minutes, but someone is now currently offloading us. That is good. There he is, look. There's that bloke over there. Him just there, look, he's offloading us. So, good lad. Right, we're tipped. Both GoPros are about to die. <laughs> well, they'll have a couple of minutes in them. We are both close to dying. Yeah, anyway, so it's now half past three. So we've been here over an hour, which was as expected. Um, and we were able to get into Tetbury, which was as expected. And I called that at nine o'clock this morning. <laughs> and uh, Kieran said, well, it's only nine o'clock. I, kn I know my stuff. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be hard done by. Um, so yeah, we're uh, we're heading back to the yard now, and um, we'll be loading in Tetbury, I think, in the morning. Your forks are in the road, mate. Not being funny. I, I would have went. He stopped for me, bless him. But his forks are actually in the road still. So, uh, so yeah, we'll be loading uh, Tetbury. Monday morning now. I don't know where to. Don't care, to be honest with you. Uh, I can wait until Monday morning before I find out. I really don't care. <laughs> um, so yeah, back to the yard. Our current ETA is quarter past five. So it's not like an early finish or anything. We'll probably make up a little bit of time on the way. Um, yeah, we, we're not gonna make much time. I'll flash them through. Yeah, fine reverse, fine reverse. Yeah, 
I was, uh, it's easier for me to go back than it is for him. He was, uh, he was more of a at the turn than I was, do you know what I mean? So it just makes sense. But I got to take this wide and he had to take it wide. So there's only room for one of us. And uh, on this particular occasion, it was room for him. Thank you, mate. He slowed down for me as well. So yeah, this is the way where I come in last time. So it's definitely more truck friendly. It's only, the, only a mile down the road and then um, we're on the main road. So that's good. Any remaining bits of <laughs> tree that was on the trailer has come off. So that's good as well. The trailer's clear. <laughs> I got all the twigs off, anything that can cause damage to cars, but like leaves, I'm not sweeping leaves off. They can be brushed off. Leaves literally fall from trees every day. It's not going to cause any issues. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, man. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. We started the video yesterday at the nursery, didn't we? Um, really nice day yesterday, actually. Started it off at the nursery. Uh, got tipped there, and then we went back to BY, got loaded with the timber, delivered the timber, reload with pallets and all sorts, and then uh, delivered to this place here. So all in all, it's a uh, relatively easy 24-hour uh, period, let's say. Just the driving up to Wrexham, unfortunately I went over my driving time by, by five minutes. Um, but I did a print out and said I couldn't find somewhere safe to park, which is true. Um, yeah, maybe I should have stopped a little bit earlier, but I wanted to get there anyway, so. And then I got held up behind the vehicle, which, which is what screwed me up. There was then nowhere to park. So, thank you, mate, appreciate it. He's pulled over for me. But yeah, it is what it is. As long as you don't do it all the time, from what I've been told and what I've heard, uh, DVSA won't have much of an issue with it. I've been stopped by DVSA before and I have gone over uh, driving time and they never even mentioned it they did a check on my card didn't even mention it to me because uh, it was just the one occasion and it was only a couple of minutes over so you know it's no biggie if I were to drive hours over that's a different story do you know what I mean if it was hours over and also very frequently then yeah that would have been an, an entirely different story but they're not gonna worry about a five minute <laughs> over um, yeah they, they won't worry about that but yes, thank you very much for watching. We're going to continue driving back to the yard now. Should be back quarter past five, sat down says. Ho I'm hoping I can shave off a bit of time. I'm going back roads, most well. Going through Trowbridge and Chippenham and then it'll be back roads, Malmesbury, so... Actually, no, it won't. Because that's not where our yard is now. That's a good point. I'll be going M4, so it won't be back roads. <laughs> so I probably won't shave much time off. <laughs> Never mind. I just completely thought where our yard was then. I thought it was at the old place, but it's not, so anyway. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If not, give me that thumbs down. If you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. It's always appreciative. Negative or positive. Uh, but I do prefer the positive. <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.